Shower. My name is Jojo Jojo Junior. And we are the Ali family. I'm also happy good Friday. Friday. Welcome back, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Today is Good Friday with the Ali family, bringing love across everyone, wishing everyone happy. Good afternoon, everyone. Good evening. Good night. Anywhere you are seeing us from with the Elite family, we are very, very happy to be here again. And welcome back and thank you very much for tuning in to our channel. Yes. Yes, as you can see, we are feasting. Why? Because we are Christian family. And we celebrate Easter big time. We celebrate Easter. Today is Good Friday. We know the meaning of Good Friday. We are so excited and we are going to use our platform to celebrate with every one of the elite family that are celebrating Good Friday all over the world. As that being said, we have all this delicious meal. Look at everything. Voila! We pray. Okay, I will do the prayer. Close your eyes, Junior. Let's pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you for providing this food. Amen. We ask, oh God, that this food, as we eat it, may it nourish our body in Amen. the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May it go in the right place and Amen. may you bless the hand that made this food and bless the pocket of which the money came out for in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As many that don't have to eat, Father, I pray you provide for them around the whole world Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I will ask your peace upon Jerusalem. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. And we sanctify this food with the blood of Jesus. Amen. So guys, we thank God for providing this food as we said before. So today food, who wants to explain? I can I want to explain. Okay, you can say some and so, shall I say some. So basically today food we have apple and rice. We have apples and rice and I'll show you say it. So okay. here is chicken, um fish, the, like the fillet, the, like the long flat fish type. That doesn't have like any bone in it. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't have bone. No? Okay. And that this is um, plantain cut like this, and then it was just uh, put in the oven instead of fried. And then here we have sauces. So this is just regular stew, you know, even the rice. Then we have mayonnaise, and then she top which is spicy. So I'm I like that. It's not really spicy, but I mean, it's kind of spicy. Oh, yeah. So as you see on our previous uh, videos, during the time of uh, Christmas time, we did a lot of activities about what Christian uh, Christmas was all about. We talked about the true meaning of Christmas. So we used this opportunity, that opportunity, or uh, this our media, which is our YouTube, to really talk about any celebration that relates to us yeah. as Christian, because we are Christian. So this Easter, this Good Friday, I'm going to be quizzing the kids. I have the question all written here. I wrote it out and I typed it and they're going to be picking. I have 11 questions. One is going to be bonus. So each of them are going to be answering five questions each. These questions are all about the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Yes, so I'm going to quiz the kids so that to know their knowledge. It's not about winning or losing. No, I just want to find that the, we are celebrating Christmas because anything they know is what they're going to pass to their children, children, the generational team. So all these things I learned them when I was their age, when I was growing up, and it has sunk into me and it has guided me in all my life. So that is why I decided to quiz my kids about everything about the birth, the death, and the crucifixion and the resurrection of Jesus Christ, which is meaning of this Easter and that is what we are celebrating. So as we're gonna be eating we're doing the mock one, I'm gonna be quizzing the children on this person. So that is what this video is all about.
So we're gonna start the video. Are you guys ready? Yeah. We are gonna oh, start. We are gonna start the quiz, not the video. The video has already started. <laughs> we are gonna start. It's not quiz. It's just I want to test your knowledge. So are you guys ready for the exercise? Yeah. Okay. So shower you pick first, being the first child. I want you to know it is not a competition. Uh, it's not. I just want to test the knowledge. We are just want to know. If you don't know, then I will explain to you. Alright? Okay, so pick any one of the questions. Good. Yes, Read sir. it out. Okay. Listen. What was the name of the disciple that didn't believe Jesus rose up from the grave? That's so easy. Uh, His name was Thomas. What was his last name? No, they did not put his last name. Okay, so Thomas, and the nickname he got was Doubting Thomas because he didn't believe that Jesus rose from the dead until he saw the palm. Perfect. That was so easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. I honestly did not know that. Oh, Junior, you don't even know the answer. Thank God you are not the one that picked it. So Thomas was one of Jesus' disciples. He did not believe that Jesus Christ was a day because when Jesus appeared to the new thing, Disciples, he was not dead. Go to Junior, we are going to pick from the bowl. Okay. Okay, I'm going to check this one. Okay. Okay. Yeah, hopefully, it's easy too. Yeah. I want to read it Who was the first person to see Jesus? After resurrection from the grave. I know it. This is so easy. Okay. It was Mary. Woo! Mary! No, there's like three different Marys. You have to say which one. Mm -hmm. Um, it, It's like Mary, Mary Magdalene. Yes! Wow! I'm so happy. I'm so happy my kids are doing good. Okay, I give you Boza, Boza, Boza. Yes, so Mary Magdalene was the very first person to see Jesus Christ when he arose from the dead. dead. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, you did good. I'm so proud of you. So the next question we go to shower. Yes, pick from the bowl, my angel. This one? Okay. So easy, okay. What was the name of Jesus' disciple that denied him three times? Okay, he was a fisher. His name was Peter. Yay! Yeah. He denied Jesus three times, and Jesus told him, wait, was it Jesus that told him? <laughs> yeah. Jesus told him that you'll deny me three times, and he's like, no, how will I deny you? I won't deny you. And he denied him three times, right? Messiah. Messiah. This is a tricky question, but like not tricky at the same time. No, it's no, tricky, no, 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 no. Oh yeah. Why did the Jewish not believe that Jesus Christ is their Messiah? So like you know the meaning of Messiah? I think I know though. Like you know? Like Okay, do you have idea for the answer? Wanna I, try? I think so. Okay. So like like so I mean like I think the Jews don't believe it's because that if if this is offensive, I'm, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. but because Jesus died on the cross and, and maybe they thought he did not rise again. Okay. Okay. Okay, shall I go ahead? Mm. I think we do not. Um, I think that they do not believe. Why am I saying? I think the Jews did not believe that Jesus was the Messiah because they thought the Messiah would come from heaven so majestically, the heavens would open up, and when Jesus started doing miracles and saying your sins are forgiven, they just didn't believe. Also, the scripture had to be fulfilled. They were expecting a very mighty, strong being as their savior because they needed the Jews we are depending on that to deliver them from the Romans soldiers because they were being oppressed by the Roman soldiers so they were waiting for a very powerful savior Messiah that could deliver them from the hand of the Romans. Okay. So that question is for you. 
Okay. What are the names of the women that visited Jesus um, Christ tomb with fragments? I know one is Mary Madeline. I don't know the other one. I don't know the other one. You don't know? Do you want to try? Um, you know when Jesus Christ died, three Jewish ladies it was three went three. to the tomb, his grave, with fragments to go and it. You know their names? Okay. Right. Um, Mary, Mary Madeline. Okay. Jesus' mother. Mhm. Mm and uh, and um, like Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. No. So the names of the three women. The first one was Mary Madeline. The second one was Mary, the mother of Jesus, which is also the Mary mother of James, and Salome. Okay. okay, so the next person, the next person, and you know you're going to pick? It's actually the only not to pick the long ones. <laughs> not the long ones. It's the long ones. I'm going to show one to the hard ones. You show one? It's okay. I don't think it's hard anymore. What's the difference between Good Friday and the Easter Sunday? <laughs> I wish I got that one! No, I wish I did not try. Um. The question is, what is the difference between Good Friday and Easter Sunday? Uh, okay. So say it. Uh, so on um, Good Friday, Jesus died. Mm -hmm. He died on the cross, and um, and on Easter Sunday he rose up again. Okay. Sure. Do you have anything to say? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. I give it to Junior Beza, Beza, Beza. Good job, Junior. Yes. <laughs> yes. Jesus Christ died on Friday, which is Good Friday, and he rose up on Sunday. So, Shawa, do you have anything to say to the Ellis family before we continue? I hope you enjoyed this video and happy Good Friday. Good. Yeah. Pick your. Shawa, don't do enjoy it. Don't pick it up because it's so <laughs> confident. <laughs> Okay. What is the true meaning of Easter? So, I think the true meaning of Easter is how Jesus Christ saved us from the devil and how he took us back as his children and how our sins are forgiven once we just ask forgiveness. And I think that's the true meaning of Easter. So, yeah. Just to add to what Shewa said, the true meaning of Easter, in my own definition, or what I understood it, is a, re a redemption, redemption from sin and restoration to I life. Said that. Yes, God redeemed us. Uh, um, when Satan took the key, Satan was basically ruling us. So Jesus Christ came to die so that he can restore us back to grace. So we are now under grace, and that oh. is why we can we can say Abba Father. So that is why we can call God our Father because that blood of Jesus has restored us back to Christ to God. How many? Days. How many days was Jesus Christ in the grave? That's so easy. How many graves was Jesus Christ in the grave before he rose up? So he basically does count for like two weeks. What? One. How many days? One. What? Huh? Seven. Three. Bruh, you be saying counting the weeks. How many days? Three. How many nights? Oh, how many nights? Mm -hmm. Two. That is a tricky question. Show up. No, I mean, because like, like Jesus was in the grave. Three nights, three days. Uh -huh. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He rose up on Sunday, so which is two nights. But then the third day. Yeah, so they don't count night. So yeah, he rose up on the third day. Good job. Uh, <laughs> at what age did Jesus Christ start <laughs> preaching the gospel? Mm. Actually, my age. He started preaching the gospel when he was twelve. Is it? <laughs> no, 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 seven. Seven. Seven or twelve? No. Me or Shawa Daddy, help me out. I think Do I some know. facial expressions. I think I know. You're okay. just smiling. It's not helping. Is it seven or twelve? You started preaching? It was twelve. My final answer. You started preaching as like. Hmm? You started preaching 
We are almost got to the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys are enjoying. If you do, please subscribe to our channel, like, and share. Thank you. Okay. Why did Jesus Christ chose chose to come and die for our sins? Okay. Why did Jesus Christ choose to come to this world and die for our sins? Um, he chose it because he loves us and there was like a lot of sin happening and to also take, take the key of life and death from the devil okay. and to like take away our sins because he loves the Lord. Um. Do you remember the verse in the Bible? No, I forgot to say that. Uh -huh. I, I don't, I don't. Okay, tell um, I, For I so loved the world and I gave my, own, I gave my only begotten son. Yeah. Ah, good! I'm so proud of you. Share what you want to add to it. Go ahead. So, ah, the reason why Jesus Christ came to the world to die for our sin. Technically, God, God's not going to force him to die for So. He volunteered and God also sent him because John 3 16 said, For God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Good. So, yeah. So, yeah. so God sent him. Okay. And he just wanted to come. Yeah. So why God Jesus came was because he loved us so much. He decided to give his life for us. Good I, job, I, guys. I kind of it right. You got it right. Everything you said was good. Yeah, you did you did good. Okay, guys, um, we are going, I'm going to read the bonus question, and any of you that have the answer can answer it. And this is the last question of the Elite family. I hope you enjoyed this video. So, are you ready for the last? It's actually the bonus. Oh my god! That was so funny. It's actually the bonus question that I picked. Can you imagine? I can't believe the bonus question, guys. Oh my god. Wow, God is great. What is the true meaning? Of pass over. I know, I know, I know. I, I know, choose I know. this as a bonus question because I know. it is not related to history. I know, I know. And that was why I made it a bonus question. And God is so wonderful. I it know. actually came as a bonus question. I know, I know. Okay, I know. so why? Let me I tell know. you. What know, is the I true? Know. What is the true meaning of Passover? I know, I know. Oh, go I know. ahead, Junior. I wrote it yesterday in school. Wow. <laughs> okay, go ahead. So the two minutes of Passover, like in the Bible, Moses, how how he um took the Israelites to the promised land, but it's, it, it's called Passover because all the Jewish that lived in even which was slaves, they put blood on the door, so the spirit of death moved over it. So that's why it's called Passover. So, so what I'm saying is, I, I told you, Shell, I said, God is handsome. You see, it was a bonus question. Yeah. Though I missed everything up, even in my mind, I was thinking the bonus question should have not been missed among these ones, right? Because it's, it has nothing to do with the Easter celebration that we are celebrating. It was a bonus question. And actually, it was the last question that actually came as a bonus question. The meaning of Passover, the true meaning of Passover was the Israelite not being killed with the spirit of death. And because of the blood that Moses put on their door, uh, door mat or doorstep, so the spirit of death came and passed by all the Israelite doorposts, and none of them were killed. So that is passed over. Why so we have concluded. Let me see what she wants. Why are you raising your hand like a kingdom card? <laughs> That's oh, yeah. what I, like. <laughs> I like your hair. Oh, thank you. <laughs> By the way, do you see my hair? My daughter packed my hair for me today. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We are going to end this video. As you see, the kids have their very, very knowledgeable 
with what we are celebrating and i'm so grateful to god for their lives because oh. with this they can pass it to their generation generation and generation, generation. Into so, the generation to, to the generation upon the generation yeah so we are going to end this video now guys i hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday as from tomorrow here in ontario we are going to continue our lockdown no it has been announced so we are going on lockdown from tomorrow midnight from saturday uh -huh. so we hope that everybody is keeping safe and we hope to see everyone soon and we love you guys we are right now we are going to stop this video at this time please share this video if you like it please subscribe to our channel if you haven't and give it a thumbs up please yeah. And we'll see you next time in our next video. Until then, with the Elite family, say...